Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got something special in store for you. We're diving into the world of documentaries and literature, two of my absolute favorite things. So, if you're a fan of engaging conversations and the fascinating world of espionage and storytelling, you're in for a treat. We're talking about Errol Morris's incredible interview with the legendary English novelist John Le Carre, also known as David Cornwell. Now, this interview, conducted with the utmost respect and deference, is a perfect example of how a simple conversation with brilliant minds can be just as thrilling as any spy thriller. It's a one-of-a-kind moment, a classic Morris set piece, and it's something truly extraordinary. Now, let's dive right into it. Errol Morris sits down with John Le Carre and asks him some of the most profound questions about his spy novel. These books, filled with themes of betrayal and duplicity, are not just fiction, they're deeply rooted in Le Carre's own experiences. And the way he answers these questions, it's like being invited to an exclusive, highbrow feast of words. Lacar's responses are mesmerizing, filled with charm and fluency. The title of the interview is quite interesting. It's not just catchy, it's related to a dark chapter in Lacar's life. You see, his father, Ronnie Cornwell, was a conman and a jailbird, a man who left a mark on Lacar's life, both as an inspiration and as a source of deception. This connection between father and son, the theme of a perfect spy, is what we're going to explore. Ronnie took young David on business trips, and one of those trips had a bizarre attraction, a pigeon shooting platform overlooking the Mediterranean. Pigeons were bred on the hotel roof and then released to be shot at. It's an odd metaphor for life, isn't it? Are we all just pigeons in the tunnel of life, trying to make it through without getting shot down? After a brief stint as an Eton schoolmaster, Lacar served in the intelligence services and worked as an agent in East Germany. He even witnessed the construction of the Berlin Wall. How he got recruited, well, that remains a bit of a mystery. Perhaps his Oxford tutor played a role. But it's this period in his life, his experiences, that would fuel his incredible success as a writer. His father's influence and his own time in the service would combine to create a creative force like no other. You might wonder if he ever thought about writing about his father in his novels. Well, he decided early on to talk personally about his father but not about anyone else. Not even about Suleika Dawson who wrote a memoir about their extramarital liaisons. It's a decision that leaves you curious, isn't it? Maybe Morris could have pressed a bit harder on this, but you know, some things are best left in the shadows. In the end, this interview is a glimpse into the mind of a literary giant, a master of espionage, and a writer who transformed his personal experiences and complex emotions into captivating stories. John Le Carre's life and work are fascinating, and this interview with Errol Morris is a civilized, refined experience you won't want to miss. Before we wrap up, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on more intriguing content like this. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep exploring the world of literature and film. Thanks for joining us today, and I'll see you in the next video.